Indeed, it is a shiny, shiny afternoon. Welcome to Business Today. We have just entered the second quarter of the year and it is third of April. What a chronology that we are seeing. And in the second quarter of the year, a lot of development. We are moving and inching closer and closer to the vision 2030 as a country. Question is, have we achieved that? Especially in key sectors of the economy. One of the biggest sectors that do hold majority of the potential let's talk about the manufacturing sector we understand that this sector has the ability to contribute close to 20 percent of the gdp by the year 2030 but it's not doing that what is hindering and what can we change in the specific tenets of manufacturing sector to make sure that it's achieving its maximum potential. That's why the Kenya Association of Manufacturers today released the Manufacturing Priority Agenda 2024. This particular document, quite an interesting document with a lot of statistics and data and recommendations. We'll be having a conversation around it with Joe Buenjohi, Head of Policy at the Kenya Association of Manufacturers, in regards to how to tap into the, into the potential of the manufacturing sector. And on the second part of the show, we'll have a conversation about efficiency. If you've traveled, flew from Eldoret to Nairobi or from Nairobi to Amsterdam, you understand one of the biggest hassles when traveling is matters to do with luggage. Now, you have to, first of all, wait at the carousel for your luggage, then go to the customs and clear that. Well, right here in Kenya, there is a proposition called uh, Airport Mtani. And we'll be having a conversation around Airport Mtani, how they make airport efficiency and traveling efficient for people who are traveling. So they clear, they pick your luggage, clear it for you. You just go to your hotel or to your home and you find your luggage right there. Quite an interesting innovation. We'll discuss the intricacies around that. Welcome to Business Today. We'll begin with the markets. To begin this journey, we start with e-mobility. Kenyan-based 